Hey Jane, how are you doing? I'm good, thank okay. you. Okay, so look, we downloaded the Echo software, we installed it on your Macintosh computer. How difficult was that? Ah, oh, straightforward. Right. Very straightforward. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to record a PowerPoint for your lecture. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Okay, first thing we'll do is we'll launch the Echo software again. So on your taskbar down the bottom, you have the Echo symbol, if you just click on that. Click here to log in. Select your email address, press submit, and boom, there, off we go. And just select the box that says open Echo 360 capture. It's a bit unsure who you are, Jane. It's verifying your credentials. That's good, isn't it? It is, yes. Okay, before we start, uh, um, before we start the recording, what we want to do is um, give it a name and configure our session beforehand. So if you just click on the little pencil up there beside the Echo capture details, and what we do is we give it a um, title, of course, so whatever your recording is called. Generally, it's good to call it your course ID, maybe with a, um, a date next to it. So, for example, if it's um, J-A-N-E-1234, and today's the 17th of uh, March, 2020, that's a great name. Let's try that one. Great. And you can give it a description. The description can be the same as your um, title, if you like or I can give you more details. We could call it an echo test. Yeah. Why not? And tags, again, if you want to put some tags in there, you could call it um, echo, which means anyone searching for this will be able to find it easily. And the most important one is your um, publish to. By default, it publishes it to your echo library. But if you want to link this to a course, just select the drop down arrow and um, select your course and it will publish it to there. Okay, so select save, and now we've configured our recording, given it a name, given it a description, and we've um, asked Echo where to upload it to as well. Okay, so for the Echo screen, it, we have two screens here. Uh, the first screen, um, if you click on the drop-down arrow next to the frame, and it gives you an option where you can actually, what you can choose. You can choose the actual FaceTime HD camera, which we have at, um, at the moment, or you can have no input, which means that there's only um, there's a blank screen there. So you can, and on the second screen, if you click on the drop down arrow next to the actual display again, we have display one. So you can choose to have a picture of yourself and the display, the image or the desktop image, or you can just have the desktop image, whichever you feel is um, suitable. The next thing we need to do is actually choose our audio. So if you click on the audio um, drop down arrow, and you see there we have the uh, Plantonix uh, Blackwire 5200 series, and that's our headset over there. So if you put on the headset, and this is essential because we need to have good audio in order for the students to be able to hear what you're saying. So if you say a few words. Hello team, how are we doing today? And if you just do a test, um, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And it sounds, it's, it sounds like it's okay. We can see the um, yellow bar there working away. So what we need to do is we need to decide what we're going to record. So we have the PowerPoint presentation in the background. So if you just click on the PowerPoint presentation, please, Jane. Okay, I'm just a little bit stuck here, what we need to do. So if you scroll on, can you scroll down to the bottom of the page? No, it doesn't do it. Friggin' Max, I hate him. Okay, so what we wanted to do is get the echo page in front of this. If you press um, Command Tab on your keyboard, you can go back to the uh, Echo screen. And if you press the red button in the middle, it'll give us a countdown to recording. And what we'll do now is we'll get you to start your recording. Remember, you can edit this as well. And the nice thing about edit, um, Echo is it has a really simple edit function where you can actually top and tail things. So if you click on um, Slideshow, And start from first slide, and off you go. You can start your recording. Hi everyone. So this, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at recording and editing and tips for demonstrations. So for the first thing, start with the first slide. So this is what we're going to cover in this 20 minute presentation. And when you get to the end of your recording, again, just press command tab key. Just press the square button here, and that will stop your recording for you. 
And what it does is it uploads the recording automatically and it gives an opportunity to edit it in a new window. And once you save that, it'll automatically be uploaded into your Canvas Core Shell. So Jane, how easy was that? That was really, really easy, really straightforward. If you need any more help, there's loads of resources on the uh, RMIT website enabling online learning and teaching. It has a bunch of stuff on Echo which will really help you through this as well. And of course, if you need any other help, you can contact myself at the DSC College office and we're always here to help you as well. All right, that's great. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay.